Gerwin that we've seen though, has it? And yet he's in the final. Yeah, it has been a case of either famine or feast for Michael Van Gerwen today. Of course, he had that fabulous nine data to win the match against Jamie Hughes and 102 and a half average in that one. Followed it up with 103 and a half against Dimitri Van Den Berg. But apart from that, the majority of his averages and his performances have been languishing in the lower 90s. And the one against Merlin King in the semi-final only just went up above 90 in the last leg because he produced a decent leg there. But it was a, a bizarre semi-final in which Mervyn King seemed to have given up the ghost after losing the first four legs. 100. And Michael Van Gerwen, in response, kind of lost his focus and concentration, which is the thing that tends to drag his performance level down. Now, he knows that there'll be none of that from Ian White. Absolutely not, because Ian White has been consistent. Every single game today Ian White has played, his average has been between 97 and 103. That's what he does. 100. He's averaging just shy of 100 for the day with 19 180s. And look at that. He's, av he's gone 100, 100, 100 to start 98. the final. It's almost as if he's determined that his average will be 100 from dart one. Well, he's going to have to score a 101 in his last visit of the leg if he wants to win it, if he carries on in this vein. 60. Well, I might have to score 141 now. Because Michael Van Gerwen will surely leave himself handy. 89. Well, Van Gerwen has been playing in a kind of distracted manner. He's not been firing on all cylinders, and I think he's there for the taking, but it's whether Ian White can 82. do it. He has beaten Van Gerwen in a final before. He whitewashed him, unbelievably, in a final. 18. Four double top. Game shot. And once again, Michael Van Gerwen despite not playing his brilliant best, takes the first leg, and it is a break of throw. But yeah, I think that's a quite apt term to describe Michael Van Gogh's demeanour and his performance today. But so far, Dan, self-destruct has not resulted in self-destruct for Michael Van Gogh. 45. Well, Ian White, yes, he has beaten Van Gogh in a final. Oh, hello. Only the five perfect darts. We will not see a second nine darter from MVG today, not in this leg at any rate. The one thing that he would love for this game is if it was taking place in Saarbrücken, because that is where he's beaten Frank going five times in his career. He's beaten him twice in Saarbrücken the last two years, both in quarterfinals on the Euro Tour, and both with sensational display. 56. Yeah, Van Gerwen has left the stage in Saarbrücken uh, consecutive years, just 100. having to give credit to Ian White, saying he was a better man on the day. Bullseye decides not to go 24. for it. And that's a sign of respect, I guess, for his opponent. Because Michael Van Gerwen has been going for the ball when he doesn't need to go for it in most visits this afternoon. It seems. Yeah, Michael Van Gogh has been playing on the bullseye on 19s. He's been making very strange decisions when Game I've seen shot. him play today. But I don't think he's in that mode. And Ian White, a bit like Steve Beaton in that regard, because he does everything the same way, the same pace, there are no shenanigans, there are no tactics or anything like that. Yes, they are capable of playing incredible stuff themselves. But it almost makes it very easy for some of the top boys to go and stick in enormous averages and big performances against 96. them as well. well. Van Gerwen said in Glasgow after his win over Mensur Sulevich in the Premier League that he's kind of learned that he doesn't always have to be at his best to win darts 41. matches. He averaged just under a ton in that one and he felt like he'd played not very well at all. Some of the stuff has been way off the mark today. Even 96. 10 points below what he was averaging in Glasgow. But Michael Van Gogh has beaten what has been put in front of him. And he has, on a couple of occasions today, produced some really 100. typically good stuff. And that is the, the bizarre thing, isn't it? Because you can get players who go on a roll and continually, continuously perform at a certain level throughout 99. the day. But Michael Van Gogh has been up and down all afternoon. Yeah, and even when he's down, people aren't laying a finger on him. That's the, the thing. 
you know, 91 averages against King and Wonder. Gavin Carlin, 90 average against Ross Smith, 95 against Ryan Searle. Nobody's taken to a last leg decider. 174. Great setup shot from Michael Van Gerwen. As good as a maximum. And it's the right shot at the right time. Can Ian White find the right shot? How much of that is, can he see? Game shot. Enough. Yeah, he was very, very good at that against Chris Dobie, who averaged 104, 104 in the semi-finals, and it was not enough to stop the diamond. Well, that's consecutive visits of 174 from Michael Van Gerwen, but one at the end of the last leg and one at the start of this. 60. He is in said beast mode so far in this match. And I did say at the end of the semi-final against Mervyn King that I felt that whoever won the semi-final that you were commentating on here, Dan, between Derby and White, that they would serve it up to Michael Van Gerwen because nobody really has so far this afternoon. 180. Derby, when they met in the final last year, averaged about 110, didn't he, in defeat to MVG? Well, a convincing defeat at that, wasn't it? It was a 6-1 loss to Michael Van Gerwen. But MVG is fired in visits of 174 and 171 in this leg. And it is almost as if somebody has flicked a switch with Michael Van 100. Gerwen and told him, right, you're going to have to concentrate for this. I think the person that's flicked the switch is Michael Van Gerwen himself because he was visibly annoyed that Mervyn King was playing at the level he was and in turn that, that had dragged him down to a similar level himself. Well, I don't think he was particularly enamoured with his experience playing Gavin Carlin. He's a very slow player around the gigante booth we have here. Double five. 35. Well, well, we could have a level game. Bizarre, isn't it? Michael Van Gogh was averaging about 85 and was 5 0 up against Mervyn King, while here averaging 110. Could be 2 2. Well, Ian White didn't like something there. Had a little glance over his shoulder. Game shot. That's the best way to deal with it. I don't know if he could just hear Van Gogh in mucking about with his darts or his case or something like that. And. It was distracting. That's the strange thing with these tournaments. 128 people playing in them, plus they've all brought a guest and there were officials. The start of the day, it's a very different atmosphere to once you 100. get out there right now. It is deadly silent. Yeah, stark contrast to the... 57. vociferous crowd in Glasgow on Thursday. Premier League returns, of course, on Thursday night in Dublin when Steve Lennon will replace well, Gary Anderson for this week. Many hoping that Anderson, including Anderson himself, will be back to defend his title at the UK Open finals in a fortnight. 140. And we could be going to the UK Open without the defending champion or the guy who he beat in the final last year, Corey Cadby. 140. We did have a scenario a couple of years ago, didn't we, where there was no Van Gerwen or Taylor in Minehead, and Peter Wright took the title. 44. Yeah, a couple of years ago, that was when Peter Wright was at his very best. He believes he's playing that sort of stuff right 60. now. It was only Chris Dobie who did for him in the end today. But there are signs of life from Snakebite. 100. Signs of life from Ian White here because having lost the first two legs, he's the Shanghai shot sparked to come back and he might be a, about to overturn the deficit. 61. Might have toyed with the idea there of going tops, tops, but in the end, didn't. Oh, Michael Van Gerwen. Oh, he turns it on and off like a tap. That is savage from MVG. And again, it's a case of the right shot at the right time. That's his 
motto, isn't it, Michael Van Gerwen? And the 160 shot, that's one that hurt Ian White, I think, in that very UK Open that we were talking about, or it might have been the year after mm. against Gerwin Price. It was it was that year, because Gerwin Price went on to make the final and was beaten by Peter Wright. After Ian White had missed match darts in the deciding leg, bust his score going for double 10, hit double 96. 15, and Gerwin stepped up, took out 160. Yeah, and it continued this unwanted record of White not going past quarterfinals on the telly. But then again, Ian White had not won anything on the stage until last year when he won a European Tour event, so maybe that is what he needs. Well, if he can get to eight legs first here, it would be PDT title number 11 for the world number 11. You totted up how many MVG has? I ran out of beads on my abacus. In terms of PDC titles that aren't on the telly, it would be his 73rd. 54. Well, can he take his 160 and raise him 164? Or will Van Gerwen return? 77. And hit the top part of the board to restore a two leg cushion once again. Game shot. 13 data. MVG is halfway to another title. Started 2019 off with that dominant display in the World Championship final. Won the Masters for a fifth time. Won the opening Pro Tour event. He is sat at the top of the Premier League table with two wins from two. Yes, he has looked distracted and vulnerable at times today and yet he is still won by at least two legs in every single game he has played 134 good standard here White still keeping himself in contention One hundred, but even on one hundred and thirty, he knows that Michael Van Gerwen could just land a big one here and apply the pressure again. One hundred and twenty-nine. Well, Van Gerwen, having already taken the one sixty out, puts your opponent under pressure. One hundred pressure you don't feel against pretty much anybody else in the world. Well, so the setup shot made sense. Can't complete the finish. He would have left 170, wouldn't he, having... 133. Had he hit the 25. White gets reprieved. Game shot. And takes advantage. Well, it is a hold of throw, and White's average is creeping up to that area around the 100 mark where we expect it to be come the end of the game. But Michael Van Gerwen is ticking along at around about 110. You know what? He's not even in double figures for 16. the number of 180s he's hit today. He has hit a lot of 174s and 177s. Oh, that would have put him in double figures. Five perfect darts. Already hit that 1-9 darter. That 9 darter that he hit earlier on today, he hit it in a game where he didn't hit a single 180. Ridiculously. I'm not sure that's ever been done before. Somebody hits a 9 darter in a game having never hit a 180 in the match. It, can, it is becoming a misleading statistic, isn't it, the 180 tally, because players are becoming much more proficient in switching to the 19s and 18s and even hitting the bullseye at times. One hundred. Or double sixteen to restore that couple of leg Game cushion shot. again. Van Gerwen is just <laughs> keeping his nose in front. Hundred and eleven average for MVG, and if he's throwing twelve darters on his own throw, then Ian White is not going to win this final. Not unless 16. he produces perfection. He has hit nine darters. But if you're relying on producing nine darters to give you a chance at winning the match, 
you may as well wave goodbye. Well, the way that these stats are racking up at the moment, it seems to be a case that Michael Van Gogh has saved his best performance for the final and Ian White is producing his worst. 96. Hasn't averaged less than 97.7 this afternoon, Ian White. Right now, he's running 57. around 93. Eighty-one. It'll be interesting to hear Michael's thoughts at the end of the match, assuming he does win it. Whether it is literally a case that all day it's been about playing the player, and that the player that the opponent they expected the most from in his run was Ian White, and that's why he's been so focused and so concentrated and produced the goods. Well, genuinely, at times, Michael Van Gerwen looks as if he's got bored of winning and he's finding new and interesting ways of doing it. And here, bullseye. Game shot. It is just irresistible. Another 12 data for MVG. 170 checkout. Last two legs, he's won in 24 darts. And even Ian White is not going to be able to stop him in this mood. 60. I well, know you can't find a new way of taking out 170, but Michael Van Gogh didn't even look like he found it interesting there, did he? <laughs> well, that takes his average up to 112, and that is... 21 points higher than Ian White going into this leg. I start contrasting what's gone before this final. But when all said and done, it looks as if it's going to be the expected outcome 16. of an afternoon's play at Robin Park. Well, I can't emphasise how he has just turned this on. He's just gone to the, the excellence tap. 140... Because Van Gerwen, if it wasn't for that nine data against Jamie Hughes, his average would have been in the low 90s again. He'd have had one ton plus average going into this, and he's averaging in the 110s here. Excellent tap, I like that. It's up there with Paul Nicholson. That is a bit Nicholson, dart isn't it? juice. Yeah. Drinking from 16. the cup of brilliant darts juice. Well, I suppose. I thought he might look at single 10 here, genuinely, to, to leave the 170. 41. But then again, the 160 has gone already. Can White go one better? Treble 17. Gets him a dart at the ball. 136. Can't find it. And Michael Van Gerwen's eyes will be lighting up at the prospect of doubling down on 160 checkouts. Of course he has. White was nodding at the back of the booth there. He just knew it was happening. He just knew. Well, that's 170 followed by 160. 177. Having already hit that self-same checkout earlier in the match. You said at the start of this, Dan, that 96. last week Michael Van Gogh had seemed to be in beast mode and had forgot to bring that version of himself with him this afternoon, but it certainly turned up for the final. It's always the danger. If you think that you can just coast for a bit and I don't have to be at my best, if I need it, I'll be able to turn it on. The danger is you can't because it's not there. You're not, you're not battle ready. You're not fit to be able to go to the well and dredge up your best stuff when you really, really need it. And Van Gerwen has just blown that theory out of the water today because he is just ambled through to the final pretty much Dimitri Vandenberg gave him a, a, a test but by and large he has just strolled through without even putting a great deal of effort in or looking that interested and then this in the final what about this for Ian White 127 and game double eight game shot well the checking out has been something to check out in this final superb stuff Ian White getting in on the act but he still needs to somehow find a way to win four consecutive legs against the best player playing somewhere near his best. 100. 100. And just to refer back to the point you were making before, White interrupted with that 1-2-7 finish. 
Van Gerwen does care about how he performs, doesn't he? He knows that even in these Pro Tour events, that he, he's been streamed out around the world. He's trying to put on a show for the people that are watching. Sometimes that will be in his mind when he 100. goes for these kind of exhibition shots. But he was furious with both his and his opponent's performance in the semi-final. And he knew he had one more match to put it right, and he's certainly doing that. Well, he, he wants to be in good games. Obviously, he wants to win them, but he wants to be pushed, and he wants to send messages out that whatever people do against me, I will be able to find 59. more. Now, he hasn't really had a chance to do that for most of the day. As I say, Dimitri did push him, 96. and he responded. You could see how annoyed he is not to have left 170 there for the match. Well, watch him at the end of the match. His eyes and his attention will turn straight to that tablet at the side of the dartboard to see what his average was. He knows he's playing well. 137. And he is a numbers man. That's Some big numbers hit there. But if Ian White can find this, and he'll look at the 19s. Beautiful. Leaves the double. This final is still alive and the Diamond Ian White has a chance, a chance here to close the gap to just one leg. I'll tell you what, Van Gerwen, who's been averaging 110 for most of the game, 60. has hit two 160s and a 170. And Ian White has had the resilience to be in this position against him. 96. That's commendable. Well, what a treat for the darting purists who are tuning in on this live streamed action here via PDC TV. We've just seen four consecutive 57. ton plus checkouts exchanged by this pair. Thirty-two. Go a couple of visits in the last couple of legs that have opened the door for Ian White. A 38 in the previous leg, a 32 there where Van Gerwen's transported himself in the TARDIS back to semi-final mode. And you, you just don't see those visits from him when he's playing his best, do you? And there have been a few like that. And there you go. 69. I mean, it's another. He's missed two big segments there, MVG. It is just so difficult to explain it's, it's a lack of focus it's a lack of concentration we saw elements of that last Sunday we saw elements of that on Thursday against Mensor Sulevich and we've seen lots of it today and a bit of bad fortune there for Michael Van Gerwen Ian White because of that bounce out is going to have six starts to take out 150 the way they've been throwing you won't need all six Ninety. Well, he's going to need at least five. The lot. One hundred and eighty. Yes, all of them to leave double two from Michael Van Gerwen. Tops to cut the gap to just one leg. Double ten. Oh, 50. Ian White, that might be that. Well, it's four. For title number four in 2019 for Michael Van Gerwen, Michael Van the Gerwen. world number one produces his best stuff in the decider of Players Championship 3. Fair play to Ian White, kept plugging away. An average for 95 of him came back at Michael Van Gerwen to get from 7-3 to 7-5, but it's the world number one who picks up the title this afternoon. And he adds to his tally the World Championship won, the Masters won, a Players' Championship event last weekend. And he wins one this weekend too with a second nine darter in as many weeks as well for Michael Van Gerwen. He trousers a £10,000 check. He beats wow. Ian White 8-5 and wins Players' Michael, Championship. Here he is talking to Dan. Title of the year. Fantastic final there. Let's just focus on that for a moment. You know with Ian that you're going to have to play well, but that was, that was your best performance of the day. Yeah, uh, I didn't really play well today, so uh, I was quite happy with performance in the final against Ian. Of course, you, know, you always need to be a little, a little bit critical to yourself. And, of course, I I made a few mistakes here and there, but I had also some phenomenal good finishing, two 160s, a good 170. And, yeah, I can be proud of myself. Uh, even 
with with the pressure on me and not playing my absolute best, uh, I, I did it today. And uh, Ian, he had a tough run today, and he had some good finishing as well. So I had to play well, but yeah, I'm glad I won. Yeah, everything leading up to that, it, it was a strange day for you. We, we've seen weird. you. Yeah, it was a weird rubbish. Well, that's the thing. We're not used to seeing you averaging the low 90s, and you still, nobody took you to a deciding leg at all, all day. It's nice, isn't it? Well, it's more, all right for you. Yeah, it's good for me. I might come tomorrow. Well, that's the thing. You, you're saying that this year, there's going to be no winning the first 10 grand, and then, oh, just go home and, and have an early weekend. If you're here, you're here for both events. Yeah, I do. That's, uh, I, uh, I said that with my, my team, uh, with the people that know me really good, and uh, we decided to... If we go somewhere, we're going to do both tournaments. Whether you're going to win or lose, it uh, doesn't matter. That's why I was here last week, both tournaments as well. I'm going to do exactly the same tomorrow. I'm going to be there. And uh, uh, I will skip next weekend, don't worry. But <laughs> you need to uh, be happy with yourself. If you can do a produce, even when you're not, you know you're not in your best form, you can still produce something like this. Uh, that does something with your confidence. And I, I'm, I'm happy with it. And... Yeah, I don't care what other people say. What do you think about today, though? Because there were times we, we see... It was almost like you lost concentration or focus. Yeah, is that what it is? Is it just a lot of darts at the minute? You can't be at the top nah, of your game? It's, it's not only lost concentration. But for instance, I played Mervyn King. He wasn't even trying. You know what I mean? It was a disgrace for darts. And uh, things like that shouldn't happen in darts. And uh, I always tr give 100%. No one can ever judge me on that. And... Uh, uh, Things like that shouldn't happen. Uh, people, if they want to beat me, they have to push me, and for the rest, I don't care. Well, look, Ian White pushed you in the final. You produced some absolutely incredible stuff. And Michael Van Gerwen has won his fourth title of the year. He's two out of three in the Players' Championship Series, and he's back tomorrow to try and make it three out of four. And he's gone. <laughs>